All right, example three. The graph of y equals g of x represents a transformation of the graph of y equals f of x. So our original graph is y equals f of x. It has been transformed and become y equals g of x. We're going to write an equation of our new graph g of x in this form where we can see the a, b, h, and k values. So the first thing is I analyze if the orientation to see if there's any reflections. It still opens up, so there's no reflections. Technically, you could say that it reflected over the y-axis, but then it would be the same shape. So we would never put a reflection in there that didn't change the shape. So there are no reflections. I'm just going to write that down so that you remember we discussed that. Then, because there's endpoints, you're going to want to look at the vertical and horizontal stretch independently. So that means separately or, or look at both. So we're going to start with vertical stretch. doesn't matter which one you start with. The vertical stretch, I want to compare the range. So we're going to look at the range. So I'm just writing some notes as we go so you can remember when you look back at this. So the range of this graph we don't um, is from 0 to 4. So we don't necessarily need to write the proper range, but let's just look at the, the distance that it really was. So this was 4 units. So it went from 4, and now it's a distance here of from 2 to 10, so if you count, this is a distance of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it went from 4 to 8 units. So instead of writing it out in words like that, I want to know 4 times what gave me 8. What happened to those y coordinates? Well, they had to have been multiplied by 2. So that means I have an a value of 2. So my vertical stretch would tell me that there's an a fact is by a factor of 2. Now let's look at the horizontal stretch. Okay, so now it went from a distance here of 8 units across, 4 on each side, to just 2. So 8 to 2 units, and again, I don't necessarily need to write it out words, but what I want to show is these blanks. 8 times what gives me 2? So of course, you might want to think division a little bit. So if you went 8 divided by 4, so dividing by 4 is multiplying by 1 quarter. So your B value is 4. Remember, it's the reciprocal when you're talking about the B value. Okay, so now we need to count for the translations. Now, this is a very important thing to consider. You have to always, if we were actually drawing the shape and plotting this, we would have to apply these stretches first and then do our counting. So... I can pick a point and apply that to, or I'm lucky in this particular question, the ordered pair 0, 0 is plotted. So 0, 0 is not affected by stretches or reflections because if I multiplied the y value by 2, and the uh, I'd still get 0. If I multiplied the x value by 1 quarter, I'd still get 0. So if you ever have the point 0, 0, you can always just count that point to see the translations. So the point zero, zero will not be affected by stretches. I'm gonna put in brackets or reflections because this would be too if true as well if there was even a reflection. So use this point to determine translations. Translations are the movement up, down, right, left. So what I'm gonna do is I can just count this from here and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left and up two. So this would mean I went seven left and up two. So my graph then, or sorry, my equation then Putting this all in is in this form. So A is 2, F of B is 1, uh, sorry, 4. Uh, left, so we're going to go X plus 7, up 2. So here is my equation. Now, I want to point out that if I picked another point, this would be, these are called image points if we're comparing the same ones. If I went left 7 and up 2, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to, I'd end up here. That wouldn't work. Okay. So let's say I didn't have a point or I didn't pick zero, zero. So I always do that if I can. But let's say, and we will do on the next example, one where you would have to do, use this method, but we're going to start on this one to say, well, what if I used, so if 
I used the point, let's pick this one, negative four and four, I'd have to apply the stretches first. So you would apply stretches first. So on my f of x graph, we have negative four and four. On my new graph, I'd have one quarter times the x and two times the y. So I'd have the point negative one and eight. So I would locate this point. We're gonna write this down. Locate this point and count to the image point. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. So my point right here, if I apply the stretches, becomes negative one and eight. So negative one and eight, negative one and eight is right here. So now I'm trying to get remembered at this point right here. These are image points. So I count now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up two, and you'll see that it is still seven left and up two. Now, if I wanna avoid, I'm gonna do all this extra work, I choose the point zero, zero. If there is not a point zero, zero, then I have to go through this process and I would wanna see that thought process. We would justify our work so you are demonstrating that you know um, the stretches have to be applied before the translations.